Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save your images that you've edited in Photoshop as a PSD and also as a full resolution JPEG that you could use to get prints made. And then I will also be showing you how to save it as a web resolution PSD and then also a web resolution JPEG that is converted to be viewed best on browsers. So let's get started. Right here, I have my PSD of this image. You can see all of my layers here. I wanna make sure that I save this file so that I can access all of my layers again at any point so that I can get back to my work. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, or Shift Command S. And I'm gonna select here where I'm going to be saving. I have my original folder where I have all of my images in. And I'm going to save it in my Photoshop folder and I'm going to save it as a PSD, which is the default in Photoshop. So I'm going to rename it and I'm going to save it here and I'm going to click OK. I do want to maximize my compatibility. If you never want to see this again, just click this box and hit OK. Now I need to save a full-size JPEG. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to keep that same name. But down here, I'm going to select JPEG from the Format menu. And I'm not going to save it in my Photoshop folder. So I need to come over here and find my final folder. So this is where I will keep all the files that I would deliver to a client or to send to print. And this one is for print. We're not gonna change the color profile. You can see here it's Adobe RGB 1998, which is the default for Lightroom and Photoshop. It has the most colors and is best for getting prints made. So that's how we're gonna save it for this. And we're saving it full size. We are not resizing it. So we've selected JPEG and we've selected our destination folder, which is our final folder, and we're gonna click save. So here it's very important that we make sure that this slider is slid all the way to the right. We wanna have our image be as full size as possible. So make sure you check that. And then you hit OK. If you need to send someone a PSD just to approve, like a teacher, then you can save it as web resolution, which makes it a smaller file size, so it's easier to send over email or just over the web. So what we're gonna do now is go to image, size, and we're gonna change the resolution. The order that you do this is very important. We're gonna change it to web resolution. So we're gonna change the resolution first to 200, and you have to do that part first. And then we're gonna change on the shortest side to 1200 pixels. If you don't do it in the correct order, then when you go to change the resolution after you've changed this, your width and height will change again. So make sure you do resolution first and then change your shortest side to 1200. Make sure it's set to pixels and then you hit OK. Now you can see here it shrinks down my image. My image is much smaller than it was before. And now we're going to save it again. So we're going to go to File, Save As. And we're gonna choose our Photoshop folder because it's a Photoshop file, but to be safe, I don't wanna mix it up with my full size file and accidentally get rid of my full size or mistake it. So I'm gonna create a new folder in here called web. And that's where I'm gonna save it. And just as an extra precaution, I'm gonna put web in the file name right here, just so I don't make any mistakes. Make sure it's Photoshop format save it in your web folder, add web in the file name, and hit save. My image has already been resized, so when I'm ready to save it as a JPEG, it's already in web resolution, but if you're working on an image that you haven't saved already in that size, then just go to image in your image size, change your resolution to 200, and the shortest side to 1200, and hit OK. And now we're gonna convert the profile. This is important so that your image looks best on all browsers. So we're gonna go to Edit, Convert to Profile. And you can see here that my source profile is Adobe RGB 1998. And we wanna change it to sRGB. So you're gonna select sRGB in the menu here. There's a lot of different options, but you can find it down here under Adobe RGB. 
and that's what it's gonna turn it into. Now, when you click OK, it's not gonna look any different, but what this does is prevents it from looking different once you see it on the internet and on different browsers. So we're gonna hit OK, and it looks exactly the same. But we are gonna save it, Shift-Command-S to save it, and we're gonna choose in our final folder. We're gonna also create a new folder called Web because this image is smaller. It's smaller than our full file size, I and mean, we don't wanna get them mixed up. So I'm creating a new folder within there called Web, and this is where I will save this one. And I still have web in the name up here from when I saved it as a web resolution PSD. So you can see that that is already there, but if you don't have it there, then add it there. And then for format, you're gonna select JPEG and then make sure it's going in your web folder and hit save. And then again, we wanna make sure that this is moved all the way to the right. We already did our file resizing in Photoshop, so we don't want this to be anywhere other than quality at 12 and hit okay. My Photoshop file here, you can see it's 516 megabytes. And then my web size one is 32 megabytes, still big, but significantly less than 500. And then I can see here my final one is 26 megabytes. And then my web version that's converted to sRGB is only two megabytes. And that's how you save all your different files.